For the Kundalini, I had one experience. I started feeling these, I was just like, I went to class, I went to college, and I went there, I was in class, and just sitting there, and all of a sudden I start feeling like this kind of like shaking going on, like this like shaking throughout my body starts happening. I was like in such a clear headspace because I meditated for an hour to two hours right before class. Yeah, I got there and I started feeling these amazing effects, like the energy just flowing. It's, it's in a, an immense energy and even, People like Dr. Joe Dispenza, they have shown through all kinds of scientific experiments that this energy does flow through the base of your spine to the top of your skull. And to help you meditate and secure your Kundalini, one of the biggest things that I was doing for activating my Kundalini, it was first I started out with just meditation. So like, you know, very simple meditation and the meditation was just focusing on my breath and as thoughts are coming in, all kinds of thoughts might be coming in, you just let them pass through. You just let them pass through all these thoughts, you let them pass and just bring your awareness straight back to your breath. So bring your awareness back to your breath no matter what kinds of emotions or thoughts that are coming into your head. And the more you meditate, the more you meditate, the easier it becomes, and it becomes so easy, like the thoughts that come into your head will not be so intrusive. They will not be so intrusive. Step one, meditate, right? Focus solely on the breath. Get used to that. Get used to how it feels so you can really focus because your awareness is gonna be very important for step two that I'm about to tell you about. You're gonna start visualizing. This is just one technique. There's so many different techniques, but this is just one of the things that I would do. I would I would visualize this energy coming through my crown chakra. I would visualize a very, very bright, very bright and loving, very bright and loving energy. And as the as the energy flows, I, it, I would visualize this energy going through my whole body, right? And going all the way to my toes, the energy comes in through my crown chakra, all the way through all my other chakras, and going to my feet, and then back up it goes, and then back up it goes, right? And then you just keep visualizing this energy coming in and coming out and you just try to visualize it as much as best as you can and that will be great and every time you do this you're basically activating your quantum field that's all around you this electromagnetic field comes mostly from the heart and it spans as we've scientifically been able to see it's been able to span three meters outwards and basically when you're activating your kundalini you're basically letting your energy flow much more vibrantly and even though we can't see it because we only see less than 0.1% of the light spectrum, right? That's so little. This is just one of the things that you can do. Visualize the energy coming in and out. Sometimes I visualize it coming in through the, through the crown chakra. Other times I just imagine it just all just through my body oscillating up and down, up and down, up and down. The more you meditate, the less your thoughts start to control you. And the more power you are taking in your life, the more power you're taking into your life. And then you can flow more with the divine energy that you are because you are God. A piece of gold is still gold. A piece of gold is still gold. You are that massive piece of gold, the full source energy. You are just a piece of that full massive source energy. That's what you are. You are God, but you're just experiencing yourself temporarily in this physical body, this subjective experience. That's all that's happening. You are God. It's even being shown. God is being shown to us through synchronicities. Look up synchronicities. The more you meditate, the more synchronicities you will get. So you'll see one, one, one. You'll see two, two, two. It's because you're connecting with the source energy.